Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So we're here for part two of basically making a kit from our 12 by 12 um, sheet of paper. So far we have made these little pieces here and just to kind of demonstrate how you would use them on your journal page. Basically you've got, I mean this obviously is not a journal page but I'm just demonstrating um, to give you some ideas. You've got this piece here which I would just use as either a tuck spot or a pocket so you could just glue it on two sides there and have it as a tuck spot or you could glue it on obviously three sides and have it more like a pocket you've got this piece here which again I mean I would probably use this as a pocket glue in on three sides and you would tuck things in above and then you've got or we made sorry this um, corner tuck spot where you've got obviously your two pockets here. So just to demonstrate, you've got a, a pocket here and a pocket there. So in fact, if I just pull those in, just to demonstrate how that would kind of work on your page. So you would glue it down on the two sides like that. Okay, so that's what we've made so far. I'm just going to pop them to one side and then we've got three pieces which we have left. So we have another, you know, what I would term sort of a long piece here. So we'll do that one next. <clears throat> now I've used all of my pieces now from the encyclopedia. I have got more things from the encyclopedia, but just not really to hand. So I might pull in one of my photo um, digis because it's actually quite a similar sort of colour to the photos um, in that it's got that sort of sepia tone slightly to it. So we could use that one. I might just tear around rather than have it as a, um, you know, photograph. I'm going to tear it down so it's smaller and will just fit nicely onto the piece. So we we'll just tear that down like that. Okay, I'm just going to tear that slightly more on that side. Oops. Oh, my tearing skills are not obviously up to much today. There's that piece there. And again, we're just going to sort of layer some bits and pieces up behind it. So I've got this piece here, which is actually from my Blue Baroque kits, but it's just got a little bit of some sort of scrolly text. So that might look quite nice just poked in behind. Just like that. Again, just get rid of those to the side. And then you could incorporate another ticket somewhere. Uh, we could either use this brown one or actually this brown one's slightly bigger. So perhaps we'll just cut that around. Just cut that down. Oops, like that. Yes, I apologise actually for my upload schedule. Obviously, whilst the kids have been home, um, my videos have been going up slightly later, so I do apologise for that, and particularly this one, which obviously, I mean, this is now after breakfast that I'm filming this, and by the time it actually uploads, I realise it will be later than I often upload, so I apologise for that. Um, I just find your routine is completely kind of knocked out of kilter once, you know, whilst the kids are home it's hard to be in your normal routine as such. So um, I do apologize for that. Right, I've just got one of those pink flower trims, which I thought might look quite nice on there as well. And I'm just having a look. I can't resist using a bit of doily. So we might have that kind of poking out as well. Just like that. Ah, oh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? So just going to take my three in one to glue the doily piece down like that come on okay so my son is back to work on Friday my oldest son and then my, my other son and my daughter, they're back to school on Monday. 
I say that, I should actually check that my daughter in particular hasn't got an insect day. Um, because I'm terrible at keeping up with things like that. And um, I should really check the dates and make sure that she's not got an insect day. Because uh, <laughs> nothing worse than getting her all ready for school and then discovering that actually school was not, not on. <laughs> And let's face it, stranger things have happened in my life, to be honest, so uh, that's not beyond the, the realms of possibility. That could easily occur. Okay. So we've got those. I'm just going to ink around this now. The photograph. Like that. Okay. Okie dokie. So looking really pretty. I'm just going to glue that down there. Like that. Okay. We're just going to glue the ticket down. like that. So once I finish um, my videos today, I'm, um, or we, sorry, we are going to go for our New Year's Day walk at the beach. So um, hopefully it's going to be dry. I mean, it's not a sunny bright nice crisp day I love those cold crisp days which quite often New Year's Day is like that it's not like that today unfortunately but um you know it's dry so we're going to go and blow the cobwebs away walk off some of our massive curry that we had last night and um yeah we do that most New Year's Days um go for a walk on the beach and then we'll probably go and see my mum and dad and just have kind of a cup of tea and things there. And that will be it. That day will be gone. Okay. Now obviously that's covering that up completely. So we could put it that side. We could actually sort of ruffle it down there. That might be quite nice. Yeah, I quite like it like that actually. I'm just going to try inking up one of these flowers and just see how this looks. I don't know whether it would look good or not, but I'll just give it a try. Because it's looking quite pink, you know, quite quite new. That looks quite pretty, doesn't it? Do we want this ruffled down there or do we want it just run down the side? Maybe just run down the side, actually. So what I'm going to do, again, I'm just going to rough my edges up a little bit. I don't need to worry too much about this side because this will actually be covered up with the lace but we will do it anyway. Okay. Like that and then we'll just ink around the edges. Just to tie it in really and make it look a bit more vintage. So like that. I mean obviously this paper clearly is not, you know, resembling anything like vintage. It's got these gold polka dots on this beautiful colour green. But I mean I, there's no reason I think why you couldn't still use this in a vintage journal. You know, I think once you've kind of popped some pieces on it and... Um, stuck it down I think it would look absolutely fine in a vintage journal so that's just my opinion but I guess what I'm trying to say is you know a lot of things at first glance you'd think mm, I'm not sure about that but actually I think they can be tied in pretty nicely so I think that's the case with this piece here Yeah, so hopefully kind of with regards to the upload times and what have you, normal service will hopefully resume next week.
so probably not until Tuesday but um, yeah Monday hopefully I will have a, a day of catching up with things I've got loads of admin -y type things to do and um, I probably won't get it all done on Monday if I'm truthful but I will then get back on schedule with you know uploading at normal times and things like that so um, it's very you know distracting really when people are home isn't it and um, you know don't get me wrong I love having everyone home it's great but it's just a little bit um, distracting you know to be able to kind of concentrate actually on things at all other than when I'm doing a video and I kind of give them all strict instructions to be quiet and stay downstairs which sometimes works better than others but anyway right now I'm just deciding do I want the flower there or there I think I'll have it here so again just pop some glue on there okay that looks really really pretty now and ties in quite nicely with my other pieces so let me just pop the pin into my glue so that the glue is still still working in a minute so we've got that one now we could pop a little butterfly on there just gonna look I've got another sheet of butterflies I think somewhere but again they're now buried a bit on my desk so um, no I can't see them they'll obviously appear in a moment once I no longer I'm looking for them but Anyway, so that's that piece, so I'll move that to one side. And then we've got our other two pieces to do. So, <coughs> excuse me. Now, obviously this piece, we said we were going to do a folding piece. I mean, just another little um, note, really, is obviously the folding piece is going to use up a lot of that piece of 12 by 12 paper. So, I mean, if you wanted to stretch your paper to go further, if, for instance, you're down to your last sheet of it, then obviously, you know, it's probably best to avoid the folding kind of pieces because you're going to actually use up a lot more. You know, if you use that um, not as a folding piece, I mean, you could potentially get maybe kind of one and maybe two corners or something. So another three pieces. Um, however, you know, I'm going to use it as a folding piece because it's nice to have some interactive, different um, style pieces, I think. So, I'm going to just decide, do I want a matchbox? Mm. Yeah, I'm going to do a matchbox book. Um, and again, if you've got plenty of... Um, you know sheets of the paper then you can obviously use it to make lots of different of the folding pieces and things obviously you know I just have this one sheet so I'm just doing something that's reasonably economical with the paper so you know bear that in mind as well you don't have to stick to these um, smaller folding pieces you could use like you could make the slanty pockets and things like that you know lots of different things I'm just mindful that I've not got too much paper, but I did want to have another sort of folding piece, if that makes sense. So all I'm going to do is obviously stick this down here to make my flip or my my flap, my tuck in, my tuck in flap there. So we just pop that down like that. Now again, I'll just have to hold that for a few minutes because of the tacky glue not being so sticky as it was. I'm just going to check I'm in frame and filming. Yeah. Okay. So again, just holding this down for a couple more minutes. Okay. Hopefully we're kind of getting there now. Now, just having a look to the side of me to see what I've got. I have got some of my invoice pieces here <clears throat> which I could use uh, it's annoying actually I've just done some other um, invoice pieces and unfortunately I haven't 
completed them yet. They're uh, in progress. But they would have gone absolutely fantastically with this this combination that I'm doing. So it's a shame that they're not ready because colour wise they would have been perfect for this particular project. Right, I'm going to use this one. So all I'm going to do is just tear around. And this is just on regular copy paper. So it's not sort of a heavy weight print or anything like that. I'll just bin the rest. Just tear this bit down here as well. Oops. So pop that like that. That looks pretty already. Um, now, what am I going to put on top? Where did I put that piece that we tore out earlier? The sort of picture of the lady. I can't see her now. I mean, how I could have lost her. It's been like half an hour. But, um, yep, I, I have managed to lose her already. So, oh, it's so annoying, isn't it? No, I'm having a hunt around. Can't see her. She's, uh, she's not appearing anywhere. Oh, it's so annoying. I mean, it's not surprising, obviously, given the state of my desk, but it is a bit annoying. Let's just check that she's not anywhere lurking. No, I definitely can't see her anywhere. That is very annoying. Right, so plan B. I have got this gentleman, which again, he's not a million miles away from the colours here. So... I'll just pull that in. I've also got some more photographs here beside me. Let me just have a look. Hold on. I've got some more photo pieces. I have this one. Actually, that might be quite nice. Let me just pull that one out. And I've got this lady. She might be quite good. Um, Well, let's have a play with those two first. Or, you know, three, actually, I've got here. So let's just have a look, see what we might like. So we've got this building here. Or we have this lady. Maybe the lady, I think, actually. Maybe the man. Might be nice to have the man, actually, to just mix up sort of subjects. So I could either cut him out in the sort of oval shape or I'm going to just attempt to tear him out. So I'll just tear that down like that. Okay. Okie dokie, right. Just get rid of any darker bits of paper around him ink him up a little bit around the edges I haven't inked up that invoice piece yet actually so I must go back and do that right he looks nice on there doesn't he so I'm going to now just quickly ink up my invoice piece so that ties in a bit better so that's that piece now what I'm going to do here just untuck my flap just need to trim it down slightly at the top where it's um, you know not quite straight it's even worse now okay that will do I'm going to rough up the edges again because you know even this is even though this is a folding piece I still really like that look so um, no reason not to to not to do it everywhere so there we go now I'm going to ink inside and again, I mean, you can coffee dye your um, 12 by 12 papers and they look wonderful then. This just happens that this is a piece I haven't coffee dyed. Um, I have to say, I mean, I do try and avoid doing coffee dyeing as much as I can in the winter because it makes such a mess all over the kitchen. But um, I, uh, I have got some pieces that I've coffee dyed previously, you know, during the summer. But this just happens not to be one of them. Okay, so now I'm just going to ink around this piece. Now, I'm only going to ink around the front of this because I would use this as a glued-in piece. So there's no need, you know, for me to actually ink up the back. 
but of course if you were using it as a floating piece you could then you know decorate the back as well so I'm just going to take my invoice piece there and then I've got my man there so I will just glue this down first just use that tacky glue okie dokie okay and then I've got my gentleman here which again I might just pop some doily or maybe some book page or something behind him let's just have a look and see what I've got so just check how he looks with a bit of doily oh that's quite nice isn't it thing is with the doily it just looks great everywhere you put it I find so uh... <clears throat> Could have him layered up like that actually so I'm just going to pop the doily down oh come on if the glue ever comes out right okay and pop that down there like that and then I'm just going to ink up the book page Okie dokie, right. That all, you know, just ties it in better once it's, um, you know, the shades are toning better. Because once it's inked up, it becomes then effectively, you know, similar tones, which is brilliant. That's what we want. So just glue the man down. Okay. So that's that. I'm just going to ink this little section here a bit more. And then that obviously tucks in to the flap here. So I love how that looks. And then we're just going to finish that off again just by running a piece of lace along the flap. So again, I'm just going to trim that down like that. Pop that out of the way. Okie dokie, so that looks really nice. So I'm just going to then, oops, wrong glue, wrong glue. Right, <laughs> get the right glue. If it's coming out, yep. Yeah. Okay. Like that. Glue that down. And then again, I'm just going to trim that that edge piece of that lace off so I'll just trim it from here I don't have to get butt up against the um, you know the paper I don't mind it hanging off a little bit but just trim that down there we go and then again just put some bling on there just to finish that off and again I'll just take a little bit there Want it on the bottom or do we want it up the top? I think up the top actually for this piece. Oops. Okay. There we go. Gorgeous. Right. So I'll just press that down like that. So that's another piece ready for you know using in your scrapbooks or sorry not your scrapbooks thinking scrapbook paper in your journals so that's another piece sorry just fidgeting on my chair now whilst I stood up to check that I was kind of in frame for that piece right so we have one little piece left now from the um, scrapbook paper that we used so for this one what I might do is actually decorate an envelope so just having a look beside me For a suitable size envelope which of course now I can't 
really find one that's just right. Well, I guess we could have that. Oh, well, let's just have that, shall we? So I'll just move the envelopes to one side. Oops. Sorry, I'm just tucking them in. I'm trying to keep them a bit tidier. Just beside me. Okay. So we've got this here. Now what I might do is actually tear this down so it's just got a slightly torn bottom piece and also obviously that needed a bit of trimming down anyway because it was quite long. So that just looks a little bit better now I think. Just going to again rough up my edges. Now this envelope has not been um, coffee dyed or anything like that it's just an ivory colour so we'll distress the envelope as well so we've got that piece there I'll just distress the envelope first now obviously this piece is a little bit narrow for the envelope so what we're going to do is um, you know decorate the envelope up somehow to not disguise it necessarily but just get around that looking a bit strange so I will decorate uh, ink up the flap because you know I don't know at this point whether this is going to be stuck down or whether it's going to be a movable piece in the journal so I'll just ink it up like that There. Okie dokie. Okay, right. Okay, so we've got that piece there. Oops, we haven't inked up this piece yet. So we'll just ink around here. And that, again, just ties them in now, now nicely, sort of colour wise together. Oops. I must say, everyone's being very good and quiet downstairs, aren't they? No doubt they're all on devices. Right, so we've got that like that. Just poke my pin into my glue, otherwise I'm going to have troubles with that glue in a minute. So, uh... Right, we've got that like that. Now, what we could do is maybe pop some sheet music. along the side there or of course we could have it this side so just tear that round like that and then let's have a look and see what else we've got here so I've got down here beside me um, a few things that I've been fussy cutting you know over the Christmas when we've been watching films and things, which we've done a lot of where I haven't really been feeling very well. Um, let's have a look. I've got my uh, rose cameos, which we've not used on this. So we could use one of those. That one's quite a nice, quite a nice color match. Oh, we've got a pink one actually. That's quite nice. Let's have a look. So I'm just going to ink this up. That just tones it down a bit and um, you know ties it in with the colours that we're using. Like that. Oh that's pretty isn't it? Yeah I quite like that. And then we've got the sheet music here Oops. So, hold on. right and I'm thinking we need to just do a little bit more layering of something so I've got some more book page which we could just have coming out behind the cameo there Mm 
groups like that in this so that's too big that quote we could have another one of our little words that we did just got here remember we could have that somewhere oh gosh it's stuck all over me I'm afraid right and we could have a little label poking out so I'm just having a look to see what colour labels I've got I've got some of the pink ones which obviously might just go quite nicely because we've used pink tones with the the tickets. We could also have a ticket poking out. So just have a look and see which one. Actually, we've got a green one, might look quite nice. So I'll just cut this ticket out. Okay. that up a bit and this ticket's not got a hole in it so I don't need to punch anything so if we would have now oh, that's quite nice isn't it so what I'm going to do is just stamp a couple of bits in the background so I've just got this giant postcard stamp which, you know, I've used this lots of times, one of my favourites. I'm just going to stamp that around just so that I've got a bit of detail in the background. Now, I know that looks terrible at the moment, but it's fine because it will actually be, you know, covered up. So, oh, I love the smell of those stays on. I know that's very naughty, but they just smell so nice. I know not everybody likes them either, which I find really odd that people don't like it. But um, yeah, they smell just lovely. They smell like sweets. I've had no sense of smell where um, I've had my cold. And um, even yesterday, funnily enough, I didn't really have a sense of smell. But it must just suddenly be coming back. So that stays on, just smell really good. Right, we've got that. And then I'm just going to pop this down. Just like that. And actually I wish that I'd thought and put some doily underneath there. So I might just pop a bit of doily coming out just beneath. Oops. Just here in this corner I think. Well, I guess I could put it over there actually. That's quite nice, so I'll just put that over there. I suddenly thought, oh, I'd like some doily actually poking out beneath, but actually it works quite nicely above, doesn't it? So just pop that like that. Okay. Oops. Just going to ink up my my book page. Oops. That's not a book page, but book piece. Book piece. So we've got that. Now I'm just going to now just play around with these bits and see how they look best. So we have that there. Got the word. Now I was going to include the Oops, the uh, label as well. So let's just have a quick look. Just ink that up. Maybe it look, look better without the ticket. Yeah, I think that's quite nice. So I might just, or, and I know I've said this so many times before, I really love just using tickets, um, not tickets, labels, labels, you know, be them stamped or printed or whatever. I really love them just off, um, you know, hanging off the side rather than the whole label. And I really <laughs> always have quite liked them like that. Don't know why, but. 
again, I just find myself leaning towards that here. So uh, it's just something I think looks really, really quite cool. Really effective. So let's just pop this one down. Like that. Okay, and then we're going to pop our frame on there. Might have the book page unless maybe that's too much book page now <coughs> excuse me and then of course we just want to have a bit of lace somewhere so wouldn't be wouldn't be finished without a bit of lace so I'm just going to trim a little bit just to see whether I might like just a touch of lace you know kind of maybe over there or something or whether we'd like it here with the word. Well, let's glue our cameo down. And then again, you know, we're committed. Like that. Oops, I've stuck it a bit high now. Oh well, doesn't matter, does it? Nobody's measuring. We've got that like that, and then do we think that the um, word is a bit wordy? Makes it a bit wordy because we've got the the alphabet words. I will have a bit of bling on this envelope somewhere because, of course, of course we must, you know. Maybe that like that. I'm not going to bother with the word. It doesn't sort of quite work for me for some reason. I'm just going to check that we don't want the lace down the side of here instead. No, I'm going to just go with that tiny bit. So let's check I'm gluing it the right way up. So I'm just going to pop some glue on here. And then just pop that down. Okay, and then we just pop this on. Like that. Lovely. Okay, so that looks really pretty. And obviously your envelope, you know, there's a range of things that you could do with your envelope. Whether you wanted to make it into a little booklet or, you know, whether you want to have it just as a regular envelope whether you want to stick it onto your page or you know lots of different things that you can obviously do with your envelope so that's that piece just just checking whether I wanted another another cameo on there but um I think probably not but however I might just have to pop a butterfly on there because the butterflies are just um caught my eye suddenly so I've got this little pale pink one. I'll just pop that down. Oops. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie, so let's just quickly ink this up. And we'll just pop that here, I think. That just finishes that off for me. Um, I don't know why, but it's just looking a little bit plain down here. So we'll just finish it off. I will just check whether it needs a little bit of bling in that centre of that butterfly. Probably doesn't, but just in case. Oh gosh, it's stuck on me. Oh, it does, it does need that. <laughs> I mean, of course it doesn't really, but I just, if I place things there and move them away, I then invariably do think, oh, yep, I did like that. So there we go. 
Okay, so that's our final piece. So that was our first project that we have revisited. So first video of 2020, or first two videos of 2020 now. Um, revisiting projects, you know, favourite projects from 2019. So this was our little kit from a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Let me just move all this stuff to one side so as you can see what we've made. So we made obviously this piece here, we made the long corner pocket, double corner pocket, this piece here, this one here, the envelope here, and the matchbox book there. So I hope that you had fun, I hope you enjoy making one if you decide to make a little kit out of your 12 by 12 papers and you know as we talked about obviously if you've got a paper pack where you have the double um, of a paper then of course you can make a much bigger um, kit and obviously depending on the style of um, pieces that you make you know you could potentially make many more pieces than this uh, but I hope that you enjoyed that that was our first revisit and I will hopefully be back tomorrow with another uh, revisit of another sort of favorite project from 2019 so thanks very much for joining me and I hope you all have a great day. Happy New Year, guys. Thanks then. Bye.